Hi everyone, in this lecture we are going to practice the models and migrations workflow. So the purpose of this lecture is to add another model and that is going to be the rooms. So we have meetings and we must have rooms and we are going to practice this entire cycle of uh, creating models and making migrations. So uh, first things first, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and um, I'm going to create another class and I'm going to call it room. And this class is going to have models dot model. So what do we want in here? So this model class, this is going to create a database table for us. What are the columns that we want within this data within this table? So I'm going to, going to have the room name first. So I'm going to say models dot. This is going to be a character field. Uh, we can uh, limit it. Max length is going to be let's say 95. And next up, I'm going to say on which floor the meeting is going to be held. So models dot uh, integer field. This is going to be integer field and the other one, the final one is going to be room number. So room number and let's say models dot uh, integer field as well. There we go. So, so far we're done. I'm going to provide a string representation for this one as well. So def stir and let's pass in self. And I'm going to say that the string representation should be a formatted string. And it is going to say that the uh, whichever meeting it is, whichever meeting that we are actually, or whichever, whatever is the name of the room. Sorry, not the meeting, the name of the room. So I'm going to say self.name. Now this room is on some, on, is, has a room number on a specific floor. So I'm going to say this is the room, for example, Galactic Hut, room number, whatever. So what is the room number? And I'm going to say self dot room number on floor. What is the floor number? I'm going to say self dot floor. So this is going to first write the room number, uh, the room name, sorry. And then we are going to say room well, let's say 10, room 15, or whatever, and then we say on floor 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, whatever. Uh, let's save all of those, and next up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, create some migrations. So I'm going to say python manage.py make migrations. Let's just hit enter, and it has created a model with the name of room for us here. And we can see that we have also another file in here, another uh, migration within the migrations folder. So it's, it has a table name room. It has, uh, we added three columns, but it added another column of ID, which is the primary key, an auto increment. It added it by default. So you don't really have to worry about that. We have our second column, third column, and fourth column. Now, after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create, uh, I'm going to execute these migrations as well. So I'm going to say Python manage dot pi dot pi migrate, not pi great. I'm going to say migrate. There we go. So the migration is done as well. So uh, first things first, I'm just going to go into our databases. So first, I'm going to just grab our database from here. And we can see that we have created this table. And within this table, we have four columns. And if I right click and if I say browse table, it says ID, name, floor and floor and room number, which we, uh, which we have just created those. Now, when we plan a meeting, we want to be able to select a room to meet in, right? Therefore, I'm going to add another field to the meeting class as well. So uh, I'm going to go to the meeting class. Now, this is going to denote this relational nature of SQL. This is going to be a, pri a foreign key, primary key relationship. So within the meeting, I'm going to say room. Now, this is another column, right? And when I migrate, 
when I execute the migrations, it is going to ask that this column should not have a default value. And that, in this time, in this lecture, at that time, we are going to delete our database and start from scratch. We are going to lose our data, but that is going to be the last time that we are doing it. So I'm going to say models dot. Now for foreign key, we do have foreign key. So I'm going to say foreign key. Now the foreign key is going to accept first the model that we are connecting it with. And after that, it is going to grab the on delete keyword. Now the on delete keyword basically says that uh, whenever we delete a room, we want to delete all the um, meetings within that room as well. Now, this is like a little bit of advanced topic. I'm not going to dive very deep into it. But what it actually says is that uh, we cannot, we are not allowed to create a foreign key in Django without specifying the on delete behavior. So that's why I'm putting it here. Now, what do I want to put in here? I'm going to say models. Where am I clicking? I'm going to say models dot cascade. Cascade. What, what this actually means is whenever we delete this room for any, uh, uh, for any meeting, for example, we have 10 meetings scheduled in a room. When we delete that room, we are going to delete all the meetings within that room uh, as well. So uh, that's basically what this is actually saying here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run the I'm going to run the migrations again. I'm going to say python manage.py make migrations. And now it says room is not defined. Um why is it not selecting it from there? So let me just cut this put it up here and now it has selected the reason that it was not referencing it is was because we we were trying to reference some something that was not created at the time that this model was created therefore just move it up and it is going to work let's run the migrations again and let's see what it, what this time it's saying now it says that whenever you're adding another column to a table that has data, you need to provide some default value for this. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, here, let's just hit two, and then we are going to go ahead and delete all the, fold, all the files. So I'm going to grab the initial, this one and this one, all three migrations. I'm going to hit delete. Let's delete those. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to uh, close the database from here as well. So we can delete it in here. I'm going to say delete db.sqlite3 as well. Now let's make the migrations again. And now it has created a model with the name of room and a model with the name of migrate. Uh, sorry, with the name of uh, meeting. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at this migration script. So in here we have this table and the meeting table in each one of those we have in the room table we have four columns and in this table we have six columns so this is just one script that is going to take care of all of our migrations now the downside to this is uh, we have uh, seen that before is that we are going to lose the access to our super user so we need to set the super user again but before setting that, I'm just going to say python manage.py migrate. Let's just execute the migrations. Uh, manage. I keep saying pygrate. Migrate. There we go. It is completing the migrations. Perfect. Let me clear the stuff. Now, how can we create a super user? Basically, say python manage.py create super user. Uh, what's going to be the name? I'm just going to say Hilali dash final just to signify that this is the final time that you are changing it. I'm going to say el at el dot uh, dot cool. Uh, this is going to be the password. And again, we are going to bypass the password verification. Super user is created successfully. Now, 
Before actually jumping into our admin, we need to register the second model that we created with the admin as well. So first, let's uh, import our uh, second model. I'm going to say room. This is our second model. And we, we basically need to like register that one as well with the admin. So it shows up in the admin. Now, after all of these are completed, let's run the server, manage.py, run server, let's hit enter, and let's go to this uh, page. I'm going to say slash admin. Remember that it was halali, mm, halali dash final. The password is this one. Just hit enter. There we go. So we within the meetings, we have the meetings and we have the rooms. Again, what, another downside is that we are going to lose all of our data. So let's just go ahead and let's create that. It's uh, on 2030. And I'm going to select which room we are going to select. Now, because we don't have any rooms yet, I'm going to just click on this and I'm going to create a room. Now, this is the first way of creating a room. The second way of creating a room is to go within the rooms, add on, uh, click on the add room, and just write in here whatever you want. So I'm going to say galactic um, shack. And it is on the 20th floor, room number 13. And I'm going to hit enter. There we go. So we do have this room. I'm going to create another room as well. I'm going to say cosmic hut. And uh, it is on the floor 15th, room number 53. Save that. For now, these two rooms will do. I could create some more. Um, uh, I'm going to say universal. Let's say universal. What was the name? Um, it was universal. What should I put at the end of it? I'm going to say universal um, cabin. Let's just say cabin. I'm going to say it's on floor four, room number um, 10. Just hit enter. I'm just going to create these three. I'm sure you can come up with better names. Now, if I go to meetings, if I create a meeting, and if I select a date, the time I'm just going to keep it as it is, I can select any room from here. And if I click on save, we have this meeting. Let's create another one as well, just for demonstration purposes. Let's say it's on 2030. And it's going to take two hours and select Cosmic Hut. There we go. Now, if I try to bring in my database, and if I grab the meeting room, there we go. So we do have these meetings. The duration is going to be one. The room ID is going to be one. Now, if I go into rooms, we do have our Galactic Shack, Cosmic Hut, Universal Cabin with the floor number and the room number and the ID. So this ID is going to refer back to the uh, specific meeting that it is being that it is trying to reference. So for CSS3 course review, we have a room ID of two. And if we go to the rooms for room ID of two, we, we, we know that CSS3 is going to be held on this room uh, in, with, within this information. So if I go to my admin, where is my admin? Let me just close this page. Uh, so this is three review at this time. And if I click on it, it is on the in the cosmic hut. The reason that you're not seeing that room name or, or room number in the string representation, the reason for that is that we have not actually added those. So for meeting, the string representation is just the meeting title, the time and the date for that specific meeting. That's it for this lecture. See you in the next one.